<laughs> I don't want to get the reputation of being the make your own camera equipment channel, but... I made this arm to mount my camera on the wall, and it's super handy. I really like it. But what I don't like about it is that I have to switch over to my tripod whenever I'm going to shoot out in the middle of the room. So I'd like to make a tripod that actually holds this camera arm. The problem is that a tripod with an extension arm has to have a counterweight so that it doesn't fall over from the weight of the camera over here. But the counterweight makes it have a huge footprint. You can see here it's completely blocking this walkway. So what I'm trying to make is a sort of tripod thingy, but instead of having three legs, it's just gonna be one post and then something really heavy at the bottom. So heavy that the weight of the camera about four feet from the center isn't gonna be enough to knock it over. That way it can have a very small footprint and still have a long reach. And of course, being that heavy, it's gonna have to be on casters. Right now I'm working at making the structure that holds the casters onto the concrete, and it's also gonna serve as the concrete form. This is the bottom of the base. The concrete will sit on here, and the casters mount here, and the cutout gives it room to turn. And that is the beginning of the sides of the form. That'll go all the way around here. These pieces get glued onto the corner, and then the caster can get mounted to the bottom of them. These corners need to be strong enough to support the weight of about 85 pounds of concrete, plus the weight of a human. I mean, wouldn't any normal person ride this thing? Currently, they're not. This would break off with that much weight. This and this are tied together by this, and there's still room for the caster to swivel. I'm just gonna glue them on one at a time, and actually this is gonna be the easiest miter joint ever because I can actually flex this Z-shaped part to adjust how the miters fit. I feel like I'm cheating, but I guess it's fair. Due to a lack of clamps, I can only do one side at a time, so in the meantime, I'm gonna work at putting the pipe in that goes up to hold the camera. The fumes from welding galvanized metal are poisonous, so don't ever do that. Anyhow, I just welded a bunch of rebar on the bottom of this pipe. So that'll go in the concrete and make this pipe really rigid. This flange is gonna get screwed down right there. This flange is not actually going to really be doing any holding. It's just to hold the pipe in place while I pour the concrete. And the concrete will actually hold the pipe. I'm ready to pour the concrete now, but first I wanna put some casters on it. Cause that's gonna be really hard afterwards. Since this is gonna be the chassis when it's all done, I don't wanna wreck this with concrete juice. So I'm just trying to line it with some heavy duty drop cloth. This is three mil, I believe. The sun's shining, skies are clear, and it's pouring rain. Somehow that's not a bit ironic because I wanted to pour concrete. I've got four feet in front of the shop where it's not raining, so that's where we're gonna pour.
1.20 a.m. and the concrete is still wet. I knew when I poured it this late in the evening that it was going to take a long time to dry, but I'm going to bed. I'm pretty happy with the finish I got on that concrete, even though I did it at 1 o'clock last night. Anyways, I'm going to start working on the mount that holds the camera arm. I want the mount to be double-sided, so if this is the pipe, I can mount the arm here or here. And to get that, I'm going to have to cut this out. All right, they fit good. Now I just need to put something in between them. The ends weren't quite flat after gluing that up, so that's why. And now I can glue those on, and that's it. It's now been two days since I poured this. I may end up going back and applying some kind of a thick finish over this concrete to keep it from chipping off. Although I don't think it'll be a big problem. Now I'm gonna put this on there. And you may have noticed earlier, I drilled a row of holes in here. Just an 11 30 seconds hole every four inches. That is for this bolt. So now that holds that from sliding up and down. And it fits tight enough, it doesn't really rattle around at all. And just as planned, the arm drops into there. Some of the more observant of you might have noticed in the beginning of this video that this arm was actually broke. There are a couple of reasons why this would break. When it's in this position and you put weight out here, you're putting a ridiculous amount of tension on this link. And the other reason is this part of the link is only about 5 sixteenths of an inch. So when you put stress on that, these plies just split right out, just pull right out of the end. So I made all new links with a half inch there. I didn't want to remake my entire camera arm, so instead I just made new links with that longer end, and I'm also putting this link in upside down. And that's going to limit how far down it can go, so that'll limit how much leverage I can put on it. So if you haven't already seen how this arm is made, I'll put a link right there. You can go check that out. I put this thing on casters just so that I could be able to move it around, but I had kind of, uh, well, not so secretly hoped that I could use it as a camera dolly to get moving shots. But as it turns out, it doesn't really work for that. As you can see in this shot, it's just a little too shaky. It's not steady enough. However, I can still call this a total success because right now, this part is on the left-hand side of my outfeed table, and this is pure on the right-hand side of my table saw blade, which is awesome. And it has a much smaller footprint than my old tripod. With my old tripod, this walkway right here was completely blocked when I had the camera over here. And with this one, very easy to still step through there, so total success. I wanted to address any concerns there might be of this thing falling over, so 
I have clamps on this end that weighs significantly more than the camera does. This is as high as it goes, and this is straight out. I don't have any extra weight on the bottom or anything like that. I'm just going to start pushing this over. Over here. Okay. Right there is about where it starts to balance. So if I let go. So it's much, much more stable than a tripod would ever be. That's not falling over. Thanks for watching.